Hey everyone, I am Mindy Saunders coming to you from Utah and we also have Johnette Rutledge from San Jose, California. Hey, these weekly Zooms are super fun. We keep them really short and to the point. Um, today we're going to talk about recognition. It is the first week in February and so as a leader on your team, it's really important that we do what's called recognition because people need to know what you're doing and what other team members are doing and the successes that are going on and all of that so that people can get um, attracted to what we're doing right and want to become a part of it. So for the agenda today, we are going to have a special, special guest come on today. If you guys don't know who she is, her name is Julie Kelly. Um, she is incredible, you guys. She is probably the queen of recognition. Okay? <laughs> we on love Facebook. her. Love her. We love you, Julie. Um, on Facebook, if you guys go to her Facebook page and scroll through, you can just see that her newsfeed is full of it. Um, she's all about culture and it's proven to be successful. So we've asked Julie to come on and just kind of share some ideas of what she does to make sure that recognition is constantly a thing going on in her and her team's business. And, um, but we'll start out with um, running reports in the back office. Johnette's going to take that and show us how to do that. She is the queen of all of that. And then we're actually going to announce the um, January recognition on our team, which is exciting. And then at the end, we'll just have Julie come on and share her, what she wants to share there. So, all right, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself. Johnette, you take All right. Next. All right, you guys, I would not even begin to tell you that I am the queen of technology. Let's just say that right away. <laughs> so if I can do this, you can do this. It's just a matter of knowing what you're doing and learning and kind of poking around. Now, I don't know everything um, about the back office, but I have figured a few things out that have been really helpful in my own um, learning in how to recognize people. I like doing cards. And so this is a great way for me to just see the names, get the addresses and everything is good to go. So I'm gonna do a share screen here and I'm going to show you my backstage. So are you guys seeing it? Hang on. Let's see here. Mindy, are you still there? Are you seeing my backstage? Everybody's muted, so I don't know. Yes, okay, I'm you. hoping that you guys can see. We see it, yeah, we're good. Okay, okay, great, thank you. I was concerned. All right, so here we are in the backstage, and I want you guys to focus in on this left sidebar here. Um, there are so many awesome things, and there's actually a new Tory Bell blog. I don't know if you noticed that yesterday, but that is awesome. Um, but we're going to focus in on the business side. So we're going to go into business. We're going to click on report center and that's going to take us um, to where we want to be to start these reports or just do some digging and research on your team and see where you're at. You can see my topics that I have um, that I look at every month. Um, and when it comes down to recognition at the end of the month, these are the categories that I'm looking at. I want to see who my top sellers are. So I'm going to start big. And I start with a $4,000 club. And this is people that have sold over $4,000. Now, here's the thing. This updates every month. So now we are starting into February. And you can already see I have one person, Linda Doyle, who is just a rock star. And she's already got over uh, 4000 5555 as a matter of fact. <laughs> she is a huge event person. She does a lot of vendor events. So she consistently has... High sales, congratulations, Linda Doyle. And so let's go to this 1000 Club. Obviously, again, this is um, something that is updated day by day, minute by minute. So as soon as somebody reaches $1,000, their name automatically goes into this report. So you can see we have quite a few people on our team that are doing great and have over a thousand dollars in sales already for this month. So once you have created your report, which I will show you how to create the report, you're going to download it or export it. Actually, you're going to export it and then you will find it down here in exported report. So I'm going to pull that up. This is um, my team number that I exported yesterday. 
basically to send the email to all of you. This is my 4,000 club from last month, the 2,000, the 3,000. These are all um, people that have had this amount or more in sales last month, okay? I also have my customer list, so it's easy for me to do um, follow-up. Okay, so let me show you how to do these reports. I have found it easier to do it on the computer rather than your phone. So if you have access to a computer, I encourage you to go this route. I think it's just a little easier. I know you can access these reports mobile, but um, it only shows one, uh, a list of 10 people at a time. So it just is a little bit more work, but but you can do it. All right, so we're gonna create our first report. We're gonna create report and we're gonna click on that. The awesome thing that we have here is that you can name your report and you're gonna filter. We're gonna use this little filter here to decide what we want to see. So I'm gonna go into report name and I'm gonna call this report, let's call it team number. I already have one of those, but We'll do another one just for, um, for you to see how to do it. So at this point, we're gonna click on filter. And I want to see everybody in my affiliate tree, not my customer tree. So we're gonna go down and we're going to say, let's see here, hang on one second. Okay, if you wanted to see you're personally enrolled, you would click that. If you want to see the highest rank, um, basically any, any filter you want, you can, you can just click on personal sales, status. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do, no, we're not gonna do status. Sorry guys, customer type. This is what we want. Okay, so customer type is affiliate. So we wanna see all of our affiliates. So we're going to click on affiliate. If you wanted to see your customers, you could rename over here, you could rename it customer list and you could click on retail customer or because we're looking at our affiliates, we're going to do affiliate. At this point, we're going to okay. Then we are going to say done. And now it's going to pull that list, but it's only going to show the first, I believe, 10. Now this might take a, a, a little bit of time here because it is a big list. So it's previewing the first 10 results only. So now we're gonna go over to save. So we wanna save that report. And then we will see it here on the left-hand side. We're gonna see that team number. It's this, just a repeat of what I just did. So then when you click on that team number, get ready you guys, look at how huge our team is right now. It will show the entire team number right here at the top. Okay, so you can do that for any category. If you wanted to show your customers, here's my customer list. If you want to, again, just show people at a certain rank, these are the directors from December that will update. So many of these people have hit executive director and senior executive director this, um, for the month of January. So this will update on the 10th, on our bonus day. Okay, so really awesome. All right, let's go back to our team number again, and I'm gonna show you how to export it. So up at the top, there are these three little dots. You're gonna click on that. All you have to do is click export, and it's gonna pop up into my exported reports. You can see it's generating the report. As soon as it's done, it might take a little bit, but I can show you with this one. You're gonna click download. And then it's just gonna pop down into your, your files and you will have a full list of everybody in your downline. So it's pretty easy to do. It's just a matter of getting in, get your hands on it and, and going for it. So I'm gonna show you now our 4,000 club. Okay, let's just download that. And then I will click on that. And these are the people in our team that had over 4,000 in personal sales last month. The top in sales, I can see usually what I'll do is I'll slide this over and I can see that first number. Whoa, there's a seven. So Jillian Lonson, congratulations to Jillian. She was the top in personal sales for the month of January. That is huge. 
Huge, huge, huge. So congratulations, and you can see this list. Here's a cool thing about this exported, this list. You can see where in your genealogy they fall. So Linda Doyle, she's a level one to me. Claire Richardson, she's a level two. And then it goes all the way down. I've got a 13, a 15. I know that my genealogy goes 20 levels deep. So um, congratulations. This is really exciting for all of this list of people. So you can kind of take a peek. I'm going to create a list of those names. And these are all the people that are going to get cards from me this month um, that I just really believe in a handwritten note. And I think it's, it makes people feel seen and heard and that's what I like to do. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and check out, see if anybody needs any questions about the reports. Good, Kayla, you're doing them all the time. Awesome. Good, okay, Bailey, I'm so glad this is helpful. Awesome. Okay, so at this point, Julie, are you there? Jonette, do we wanna do recognition first? Uh, do you, I just have that list that I shared just now, okay. so. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead, Julie, if you're ready. I'm here. Awesome, thank you. Hi, guys. Sorry, chaos is going on in my life right now because we're trying to pack and the movers are coming, and so I'm on the phone here and on the phone there and then on a Zoom <laughs> call here, so. Well, we appreciate um, you hopping in. No, thank you for asking me to do this. Um, I think that it's amazing too. I, I just want to bring this up really quick, Jeanette, the, the letters that you send out, the little cards, even though it's just a little card with a little stamp on it and sent out, it really means a lot. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Jeanette sent me a message and, and it really does mean a lot. So I just want to thank you for doing things that you don't have to do. And I know that you love them and I know that's a part of who you are and we love that about you. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, I'm going to have to replay this zoom call over and over because i need to learn myself how to run these reports so with that being said um one of the things that works really well on our team is the aspect of celebrating each other and putting up posts to celebrate each other so they asked mindy and jonna had both asked me to kind of talk about the recognition posts and why they're important and why we're finding success by posting them um, I know that a lot of companies, they do, you know, they have their own way of doing things and they kind of, um, they do it in a different way, but this, I'm going to just explain to you the way that our team does it and um, how I love that it kind of coincides with what Kathy Allen has been really teaching us about culture and including everybody and all of that. It's just, it's, we're in the perfect spot, the perfect place, perfect company and all of that. So Let's talk about congratulating people. When you congratulate somebody or you celebrate them, you can decide how you want to. You can celebrate them for hitting a rank. You can celebrate them for hit, you know, their first sale. Um, it's completely up to you how you do it. Typically, the way that we do it is mostly by their, their first rank. If they hit advance, if they hit a different rank, or if they've got, you know, something, maybe they've recruited a certain number of people or they've hit a certain goal that they were trying to attain. Um, it's a great time to celebrate them. So this is where it's really, really important. When you celebrate somebody, you want to, you want to put it on your page and tag them in it so that it goes on both pages because it's crucial to recruiting so that they can see that there is, um, their success on your team and then their success that's happening in their business. So it's a two-sided recruiting tool that you use. But at the same time, we're not just putting it up and saying, hey, they hit this number and hey, they hit this rank and then that's it, congratulations. We're putting it up, we're learning a little bit about that person, what their goals are, what their dreams are, what they're trying to accomplish in their business, uh, who they are as a person, maybe what they mean to you. It could be a personal reason why you want to make sure you want to celebrate them. Um, just, it's just not numbers is what I'm trying to say is we're not trying to just put up like, this is the rank and this is the number and congratulations. You're trying to learn a little bit more about that person so that you can make it a personalized congratulations post. Does it have to be super long? It doesn't have to be. If you want to make it super long, it makes that person feel warm and fuzzy on the inside, then by all means, go ahead and you know, make it as long as you want, or you can make it short and just kind of make sure you hit 
something about them, something about their rank and what it means to them. Um, it's really important. Again, you wanna make sure that you tag them, you wanna make it public. And then we have a group that has multiple teams, many of my sideline sisters that we use. You can choose a chat group, however you choose to boost it. It's really, really important that that person feels special, feels needed, feels wanted, feels celebrated. And so to get put it into that boosting group that we all share is really important so that people can go in and say congratulations. And it doesn't always have to be, you know, congratulations, this is the beginning, you're doing amazing, I can't wait to see. It doesn't have to be super long. A sweet and simple congratulations with the heart is absolutely perfect. People appreciate it. To me, some people don't like tons and tons of comments, that's up to them, but I love the more comments, the more you can make somebody feel special. So I like to put as many congratulations as possible. Um, and then I'm gonna take it a step further. What I think is really important, there are other companies that do congratulations posts. They may not be on your team, they may not be in your company, but I'm telling you, if you go and start celebrating their accomplishments, their congratulations and everything, even though they're not on your, in your business, it will change the world. Like they will be like, oh, I wonder what she's doing. And then she'll start watching you. She'll start celebrating you. And you guys will build this network between the two of you where you begin a friendship. And that's what this business is all about. So that's my extra added um, piece to the recognition for part. So I think that's kind of all that I have. I love it, Julie. Thank you so much. That is just huge. And I agree. Recognition is everything. Figure out what your your team's love language is. You know, if they love gifts, great. Send them a little something. If you if they just need that, you know, visual recognition, which we all do, you know, it feels good. It's it's just so important. And I, again, I've said this before, but I believe that there's enough sun for all. You don't need to get, you know, upset about somebody else's, about somebody else's accomplishment. I think it's so important to just celebrate everybody. We all have, we all have great things about us, you know, just because you're celebrating somebody else doesn't dim your own light. So it's really, really important. Thank you for sharing that. Right. I love that. And thank you, Janet. Um, thank you. Thank you, Julie. Okay. So you guys, Julie's on my level one. So it's my job to recognize her. And something that I have done that might be helpful to you guys is one day I reached out to her husband. She probably doesn't know this, <laughs> but I reached out to her husband and I says, Hey, what is it that I could send to Julie? What is it that would be like her love language? Like who better to ask, right? Than her husband. And you want to know what he told me? Recognize her. And I was like, there it is. I said, here she is. Every day I see her recognizing people all the time. And that is her love language. So I knew that I needed to do that more for her. So anyway, kind of an interesting little twist on why we, why we picked Julie to begin with. But Julie, we love you. We appreciate you. You are incredible. Just the complete package in my eyes. So you're awesome. Thank, Thank you for you. I love you guys. Thank you. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Um, we're going to uh, go ahead and upload this to allthingstorybell.com for the training playback. Make sure you guys share this into your groups with your teams and all of that so that they can hear this, <clears throat> these things. It's super, super important that they get to hear these. So anyway, and we'll do a new topic every week. So, you know, always come back because we're here to help you and give you the things that you need to succeed. So, right. And reach out and let us know what topics you guys want. That's super helpful to us too. And we'll be prepared yes. to come and deliver. So for sure. anyway, thank you guys. Hope you all have a great week. Thanks everybody. Thank Bye. you.